I am Dr. Prashant working as an assistant professor at Department of Geography, Shivaji University. I have nearly 13 years of PG teaching experience and with this experience, I will try to bring the best for you. So friends kindly support my YouTube channel. Please share, subscribe and like this video if you get any value out of this. Welcome all of you. Today we are going to discuss basic concepts in regional planning and development from a geographical standpoint. So, let's begin with the concept of region and then go on to various types of regions. Why do we use regions as geographers? Geographers, on the other hand, look at a wide range of topics from a geographical viewpoint. One method to organize and simplify this massive quantity of data is to use regions. The term region is derived from the Latin word regio, which refers to various segments, aerial units, or geographical arrangement of the Earth's surface. The three main requirements for determining the region are homogeneity, nodality, and programming. In the case of homogeneity, the region is demarcated based on uniformity in a selected of criteria. Formal regions are generally delineated on the basis of homogeneity of the criterion. Nodality define the functional integration of various areas. Specifically functional region is marked on the basis of function integration of different areas. The majority of planning regions are program regions, and are determined by considering specific planning strategies. Several scholars from across the world presented various definitions of functional region in order to comprehend the concept of functional region effectively. L.S. Bott defines a region as an area defined by general homogeneity of land characteristics and occupancy. According to Paul Vidal de La Blache, a region is an area where many different elements and human beings are brought together and eventually adopt to a shared existence. Furthermore, P.J. Wolfer defines a region as an area with a combination of environmental and demographic characteristics that have resulted in a homogeneous economic and social structure. After we've gone through the definitions, we'll look at the different types of regions. Regions are broadly classified as formal, function, program, or advoc, and compage or complicated. The homogeneity of the criteria is commonly used to designate formal regions. It is a defined area with official borders. Major subtypes of formal region are as follows. 1. Physical slash geographical region, 2. Economic region, and 3. Sociocultural region. When solely physical characteristics of land, such as landforms, climate, soil, vegetation, and so on, constitute the basis of limitations, this is referred to as a physical slash geographical region. If prominent economic activities are used as criteria, the region is referred to as an economic region, such as an industrial or agricultural region. When primarily cultural aspects such as language, religion, caste, and so on are viewed as the foundation, it is referred to be a socio-cultural region, such as the linguistic states of India. The, the functional region is the second most common type of region. It is also a geographical entity made up of diverse entities such as cities, towns, and villages that are functionally connected. The next type of the region is ad hoc region or planning region. It is delimited for certain specific purposes such as development of resources, tribal region, or drought-prone region. When all other regions are combined together for various purposes is called as compitch, combination, or complex region. That's it for now, keep tuned for more such videos in the future. Take care and best wishes till then.